So I'm quickly going to show you what you need to watch out for before you buy any ND filters for your DJI Osmo Pocket 3. So I bought the Freewell slash variable ND mist filters. And even though these are great, after using them for quite some time, I've noticed that there is quite some vignetting, especially when you're shooting on the higher stops like four stops, five stops, and it's pretty noticeable. And I tried to correct this footage in post, but it's kind of impossible to get it perfect. And if you want to change the stops or the strings from these filters, then you have to detach these filters and put another one on it. So it's more hassle, but honestly, on the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, I feel like it's worth it. Now I'm going to show you how bad this vignetting actually is and if it's truly bothersome for you, so you can make a decision on whether or not you want to go for regular ND filters or you want to go for a variable ND filter. By the way, thank you so much Freewell for sending out this mega pack of ND filters for the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, so I could actually compare them to the variable ND X mist filter. So this is what the footage looks like with the variable ND X mist filter at three stops. And please look at the upper right corner and the bottom left corner because those are the places where the vignetting is usually most visible. And this is what the footage looks like with five stops of the variable ND X mist filter. Also keep in mind, with these higher stops, I needed to increase the ISO quite a bit to compensate for the lighting. And that's why the footage is a bit more muddy. This is shot with the single ND and the 1.8 glow mist filter. As you saw, the images with the single ND filter looked so much cleaner than the ones with the variable ND X mist filter. And I'm not really sure if this is the case because it's a variable ND X mist filter, but I think that it's just a general thing of variable NDs on the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. And I'm not really sure if other brands have the same issue, but if you want to be sure that you don't have this issue because it's really hard to correct it in post, then you just need to put a little bit more effort into it and change your filter every time you want to change your exposure. But the weird thing is that I also had a variable ND X mist filter for my DJI Mini 4 Pro and over there I don't really have this vignetting issue so I'm not really sure what the problem is. And I sent a message to Freewell to tell them about this problem. But anyway, I'd recommend you to get the single ND filters and not the variable ND filters. Let me know in the comments down below which one you're going to get. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, you'll probably enjoy one of these two videos on the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 as well. Gone out. Peace.